the figure below shows a long straight wire near a rectangular current loop the current in the wire is i1 is equal to 19 ampere and the current in the loop is i2 is equal to 30 ampere the dimensions of the loop are l is equal to 39 cm w is equal to 13 cm and the distance from the loop to the wire is r is equal to 6 cm determine the magnitude and the direction of the total force on the loop given the data the current in the wire is i1 is equal to 19 ampere and the current in the loop i2 is equal to 30 ampere and the length of the loop is l is equal to 39 cm the centimeters is converted into the meters l is equal to 1 cm is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 meters so 0.39 meters and the width of the loop is w is equal to 13 cm w is equal to 0.13 meters and the distance from the wire and loop is r is equal to 6 cm r is equal to 0.06 meters so from the figure let us consider the wire this is the wire the direction of the wire is towards the right and the current through the wire is i1 and consider the loop this is the rectangular loop this is the rectangular loop the current through the rectangular loop is i2 and the direction is a counter clockwise so the direction is the counter clockwise and current through the loop is i2 this is the i2 the distance from the wire and loop is r this is the r and the width of the loop is w this is the w and the length of the loop is l this is the l consider let us first of all consider the the direction of the magnetic force on the loop so consider the top of the loop the force the direction of the force is towards the downwards towards the downwards this is the top of the loop f top the force acting on the top of the loop due to the wire i1 because the current in the loop and the current in the direction of the wire both are the opposite directions so they are repel to each other so the force acting on the loop top of the loop due to the wire is towards the downwards and the force acting on the bottom of the loop is towards the top this is the force acting in the bottom of the loop this is the f bottom of the loop because the direction of the current carrying the wire and current carrying the loop both are the same so they are attract to each other so the force acting on the bottom of the loop is towards the upwards so and consider the left side of the loop and right side of the loop both are the same magnitude but opposite directions so both forces are cancelled so the net force acting on the loop gives to the sum of the top of the loop and the bottom of the loop so the total force acting on the loop f the total force acting on the loop f is equal to f bar top plus f bottom bottom of the loop so f bar is equal to the bottom of the loop the top of the loop force is mu not i1 i2 
L by 2 pi R. The distance between the top of the loop and the wire is R. And let us take the negative sign because the force towards the downwards and J bar, J bar direct indicates the along the negative y direction plus the force the magnetic force due to the bottom of the loop is mu naught i1 i2 l by 2 pi the distance is the r plus w r plus w so f bar is equal to taken the common points mu naught i1 i2 l by 2 pi so mu naught i1 i2 l by 2 pi into first of all taken the positive sign 1 by r plus w minus 1 by r along the j direction substituting the values f bar is equal to the value of the mu naught is the permittivity free phase is mu naught is equal to 4 phi into 10 to the power of minus 7 tm by a this is the constant a into i1 is the 19 amperes into i2 is the 30 amperes into the length of the loop is 39 centimeters or 0.39 meters whole by 2 pi into the distance r plus w where r is the 0.06 meters plus w is the 0.13 meters minus 1 by r where r is the 0.06 meters 1 by 0.06 meters along the j bar so f bar is equal to calculated the value the value is the minus 5.07 into 10 to the power of minus 4 newtons along the j bar. The magnitude of the total force acting on the loop is F is equal to 5.07 into 10 to the power of minus 4 newtons. This is the magnitude of the total force acting on the loop and the direction towards the bottom of the loop because the sign indicates the negative. So the force is towards the downwards. So bottom of the loop. The net force, the direction of the net force is the bottom of the loop.